Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. In this set of videos we're going to be learning how to make a Chief Architect symbol using the SketchUp program. Now here I have SketchUp 6 which I'll be designing um, a door in. Okay so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tool to make a rectangular shape. I'm going to draw one hey, about that far. Use my push pull and pull it up to about yay high. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to make a standard size door. So I'm going to take my dimension tool and I'm just going to dimension a few things so I can kind of keep track of what I'm doing here. Okay, pull that out to there, that out to there. Okay, now using push pull, I can get more creative with our distances. Oh, look at that. That didn't work quite right. Go ahead and try that again. There we go. And that should adjust as you go. So we typically have a six foot eight door each time we make a door. So just try to tap that right into six foot eight. And then I'm going to make a three foot wide for standard exterior doors. Doot, doot, doot. There we go. And in the depth, why don't we push it down to one inch? Now I know doors are thicker than one inch, but. Um, no worries, that's good to go for what we're doing. And I'll show you in a little while why I'm making it as thin as I am. Okay, so here's my uh, door template. At this point, it would be a really smart thing for you guys to save this. Save as, uh, call it a template door file, whatever. Because you're going to be starting with that shape many times as you do different size doors. Okay, so I've already got mine saved uh, in another version, so I'm happy. I'm going to go ahead and just start with this one. Okay, now facing the door, you can always import an image of a door you saw online and put it right on the face and apply it to the face. And then what I like to do sometimes is I'll just drag over the picture to the right or left, and then I can draw while I'm seeing it next to it. But in this case, we're going to make our own door. So I'm going to use um, this tool over here. And basically, uh, this is an offset tool. So when I click inside a rain highlighted area, it can drag the offset to whatever you want. And see, there's the red dot. And it's kind of showing you the offset down here. Oops, as I'm losing it up here. <laughs> so I'm going to go four, we'll say uh, four, four inches off. And um, at the bottom, I'm going to double that. I'm going to just eyeball about eight, like so. Because usually uh, the bottom piece usually on the door is thicker and taller, as you know. So now that I've got that set, I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines up like they're pieces of wood that we've put together, just like building a real door. And this will allow me later to apply textures and then manipulate those textures for my uh, door. Okay, so I got that all pretty much set. And so what I'm going to do is using the push pull, I'm just going to remove the center piece. And we'll make it glass down the road. I think that'll be nice. Okay, now what I want to do now is apply the texture. Because I know this is going to all fill with glass, and so really the rest of the frame around the side should be a wood color or something. So when you click onto your bucket tool, you'll see the materials list come up. And for our case and purpose, why don't we use something we can easily see the grain, like this one right here. And if I put my bucket over each piece and left click, you'll see it apply that texture on there. You can also hold down shift and it'll grab all the white because you are over the white area and then color it. And if we zoom in, we can see which direction the wood is going. It looks like it's going all straight up and down. Okay, what I'd like to do is make this piece and this piece go a different direction. So let's orient the texture. Now to do that, it's pretty easy. What you want to do is right click on the area that you want to manipulate, go down to texture and position, I'm going to zoom out a bit and then you'll see there's these different grab handles and these are great because this is how Chief applies or excuse me Chief SketchUp applies textures to the actual item. So here I can skew it uh, 
uh, all different ways. I could pin it to a different location. I can move the texture around. And here, of course, I can rotate it. So I'm going to holding down my left mouse button. I'm going to click, drag, down, uh, right there, and let go. And now when I zoom in, I'll notice my texture is moving left to right, which is exactly what I want. Again, I'm going to apply the same effect here. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to grab my texture and just put it there and see how easy that is and then you just click outside that image and it'll get you back to the regular SketchUp tool. Okay so that's pretty easy and pretty straightforward and depending on how much detail you want to put in there and uh, how much coloring you can apply different colors to different areas but in our case we're just going to keep it all the same and we just want to align the textures to go the right way on the parts of the door okay so join me in video two where we're going to go ahead and put a piece of glass on the back side of this door and uh, I'm going to show you how I close it up and make it a complete door and um, Go from there, and so I'll show you how I import it into uh, X2, and um, that should be it. Okay, I'll talk to you soon, guys.